Hi, sewing friends. Welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth, and if you're new, welcome. Today, I am sewing some scraps together to make this fun table topper. Let's get started. Here are all the little one and a half inch squares that I pulled out. Today, I wanted to dig around for scraps that have some fall colors. So some of these are strips and some are squares, but they are all one and a half inches and I've been collecting these for quite a while. You can see there are a lot of scraps here. After finding a nice bunch of some fall colors, I started sewing them together and I'll be sewing five squares together in a row and for each little quilt block I'll need five rows of five. So each quilt block I'll need 25 of these little tiny squares. After getting five rows of five little squares sewn together, I took it to my ironing board and I pressed seams and I'll be pressing seams in opposite directions. So each row's seams will be going the opposite direction so that they will nestle together really nicely when I sew them together.
be using my four quilt blocks along with nine little squares for corner stones. So when I was done with my quilt blocks, I put all of my scraps back in this large container of one and a half inch squares. And like I said, some are squares and some are strips. And I do have some pieces in here too that are already sewn together from past projects. For my little table topper, I need nine extra squares and I need 12 strips that are five and a half inches by one and a half inches. And then when I get to the outside border, that will be longer strips. I decided to add another border and those strips will be 14 inches, two 14 inch strips and two 16 inch strips that are one and a half inches. But right now, I'm just going to put my pieces together, my four quilt blocks with some sashing and some corner stones. When it was all together, I worked on pressing the dark fabrics towards the dark foot block I have there. The last thing I did is I added those longer strips. There are two 14 inch strips and two 16 inch strips to go around the outside of this little table topper. I'm using two small pieces of batting. I just set them right next to each other. I did not zigzag them together or use any other way to attach them. I'm just gonna be really careful and make sure that they are really uh, together as I work. And I think the 505 spray helps uh, keep the quilt steady. So that also in turn keeps the batting in place where I want it to stay. I just added quilting lines diagonally all the way through this quilt. 
going both directions and I used a larger stitch to do that and it all came out really well. I'm really happy with the way this quilting turned out on this beautiful little quilt. I'm adding binding to the front. This is a two inch wide strip. And at the beginning, I folded that end down diagonally and I started sewing right there over that little triangle. And when I got to the corner, I stopped before the end about a quarter of an inch and I pivoted right there with my needle down. And then I sewed off the corner. After I did that, I turned my little quilt, I lifted the binding and then folded it right down there on that, on the top there. And I'm going to start stitching right at the fold and I'll do that all the way around. When I was on that last side, I covered that fold, that uh, triangle fold with the last bit of my binding and also right over where I had started. And now when I turn this right side out, that fold will be covering the raw edges. I won't have any raw edges showing. And this time I'm going to, um, it's a single binding, a single layer of binding. Sometimes I fold it but I wanted this binding to be a little bit thinner on the table. I don't know, I don't need it to be very bulky and I don't need it to be, um, you know, quilts get used and the binding sometimes needs that extra layer just because you don't want it to wear out. But with this little table topper, I just need one layer. So I'm folding that edge inside and pinning and then I'll go around with a needle and thread and sew that down on the back. And here's my little table topper using some fall colors. I had fun digging around in the scraps and pulling all of those out. I think it turned out really pretty. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.